Alexander Buya Botanical Garden was created at the initiative and under the guidance of University Professor Dr. Alexander Buya in 1952. The initial designs belong to the French landscape architect Emile Redon, who designed it as a public park at the beginning of the 20th century, remodeling the site around the Giannou Fountain. When the land became state-owned during the communist regime, the place became known as November the 7th City Park, covering about 17 hectares. By a decision dated August the 29th, 1952, the site of the park was given to the Agronomical Institute of Craiova to arrange there a botanical garden. Presently, at Professor Buya's initiative, who had come from Cluj to the University of Craiova, a botanical garden was arranged, preserving the same shape even today. The garden was designed as a scientific, didactic and educational institution. Alexandre Buya, who was a professor of botany and later provost of the Agronomy Institute of Craiova, realized that a higher agronomic and horticultural education cannot exist without a university botanical garden. During its peak period, the garden had over 3,000 deciduous and coniferous specimens, while in the greenhouses, stretching over 750 square meters, there were over 900 exotic species all of them of great scientific and decorative value. In March 2002, while celebrating 50 years from the setting up, the Senate College of the University of Craiova decided to attribute the name of Alexander Boya to the Botanical Garden as a posthumous appreciation of his merits. The garden was administered by the University of Craiova from the beginning, but between 2009 and 2012, it was taken by the City Hall of Craiova, which tried an ample project of rehabilitation. As it didn't succeed, the University of Craiova requested it back in 2012, which was accepted. But in 2015, the Botanical Garden was taken over again by the City Hall, which carried out an extensive program of improvement of Craiova's parks and gardens, so that this wonderful corner of nature has regained now its former luster. The usable area of the garden is currently of about 12.8 hectares. Being crossed naturally by a creek, there were arranged three artificial lakes stretching over about 0.3 hectares. Thus, there have been created all the adequate ecological conditions for the necessities of the species coming from different geographical regions. Alexander Boya Botanical Garden is known both nationally and internationally, being included in the International Association of Botanical Gardens since 1974. And starting with 2001, it also belongs to the Association of Botanical Gardens in Romania. It is organized and it works like all the great university botanical gardens in Romania and abroad, having the following sections. The ornamental, the systematics of plants, world floristic provinces, the floristic provinces of Romania, cultivated plants, greenhouses, the seedling ground, the rosarium, the museum and the herbarium. The ornamental sector begins in the flat area immediately after the visitor's entrance on Iancogiano Street. It includes a rich and varied collection of plants and it is formed especially of ornamental flowers, 
catching the eyes of the visitors at once. It also ensures all along the vegetation season not only a rich and manifold collection of plants, but also an agreeable background. The systematics of plant sector, which comprises some 1,000 types of plants, is located in the central part of the botanical garden. It also includes the lake that hosts, beside water plants, different species of birds. The wrought iron bridges recently added are real architectural jewels, urging visitors to soar over the water surface. Swans, ducks, and other water birds live safely on this lake. The show offered by these full of grace white birds, whether majestically floating on the surface of the water or catching fish underwater, is a real delight for any visitor around here. The sector is organized according to the theoretical system of classification of the whole vegetable rain, while the plants are grouped according to the scientific criteria following the evolution from inferior to superior. We can admire here ferns, ginkgo trees and bushes, cypresses, different other annual or perennial woody and grassy plants. In the world floristic provinces and Romania's floristic provinces sectors, the specific micro and macro reliefs have been created through accumulations of soil between 1.5 and 30 meters high, increasing thus the area of the garden. The former sector is located in the southwestern part of the garden. There are present here the following provinces, Mediterranean, Caucasian, Central Asian, Southeastern Asian and North America. The latter one is located in the northern and northeastern part of the botanical garden. Those still remembering how this sector looked during Professor Buya's times say it was arranged like a unitary image of the country. The ground was leveled or raised in order to render exactly Romania's relief the plants being cultivated depending on these forms of relief. Today, the place is flooded by an unbelievable palette of colors given by the waving of the rows of tulips that offer the visitors a magnificent show of the arrival of spring. The root of the creek that crossed the area is now completely reshaped, so that the water is reaching everywhere, offering the plants ideal conditions to grow. The cultivated plant sector is located in the northwest of the botanical garden, being divided into six sections, plant growing, vegetable growing, trees, shrubs and medical herbs, vine and fruit trees. The greenhouses sector is located near the administrative headquarters and is structured on four departments. The greenhouse was created a few years after the garden had been arranged between 1962 and 1964. The largest trees can be found here, palm trees, ficus and banana trees and so on. These trees also attract most of the visitors. There can also be admired plants and trees from all over the world, some being easily recognized, others totally unknown in our country. But every species is labelled with its scientific name, popular name and the family it belongs to. The greenhouses have a total area of 750 square meters, but only a part can be visited, 
the rest being teaching spaces for the students. The collection of cacti is both impressive and interesting, comprising over 100 species in a great variety of forms. The greenhouse is the only sector of the botanical garden which has currently remained in the exclusive care of the University of Craiova. The seedling ground and the rosarium sector is located in the southwest of the garden. This rose garden, placed in front of the administrative headquarters on a surface of 2,000 square meters, has always been considered the calling card of the botanical garden. A collection of over 250 varieties of roses and many of tulips could be admired here in the heyday of the garden. Unfortunately, the sector has not been entirely preserved to date, but there are made efforts to restore it, and partially they have been successful. The museum is located in the hall of the administrative center and contains samples of seeds, fruit, drawings, graphs, diplomas and collections of catalogues edited by the Botanical Garden from its appearance to the present day. Index Seminium Seeds Catalogue is printed annually, being sent to over 300 similar institutions in the world, thus facilitating the exchanges of seeds and the enrichment of the plant collections. The Botanical Garden also has a herbarium, which represents a very important component within any institution of this kind. Its creation started with some 10,000 sheets bought by the University of Trioa from Boza family between 1920 and 1930. Later, this collection was added Professor Buya's herbarium, made of 20,000 plant sheets, collected and classified by the professor himself from all the provinces of Romania. The herbarium, called Professor Alexander Buya, has invaluable sheets from the scientific and years of collection point of view, being the result of a tough work of gathering, determining and conserving. The activity in the herbarium is in full swing and consists in field works, gathering the biological material, pressing, assembling and registering it, which means a lot of effort. As for the existing boards with biological material, they need permanent maintenance and reconditioning. Now the herbarium contains about 50,000 sheets and many materials with pressed plants. The enrichment of the collection is a continuous process, being added plants from the spontaneous flora gathered during the students' and researchers' fieldworks and also species that are present in the sectors of the botanical garden. This herbarium, of a great scientific value, being permanently at the disposal of teachers, researchers or students, is also at the disposal of those interested persons who are passionate about botany. The Botanical Garden regained its place as a site for promenade and relaxation for the inhabitants of Craiova, once it was arranged in the spring of 2016. Almost everywhere you can see old and young people strolling or sitting on benches, enjoying the sun rays and the unbelievable colors of the spring flowers. The Botanical Garden thereby completes its vocation adding to its scientific and pedagogical destination a new dimension full of color and charm, offering generously to the inhabitants of Kraeva a well-deserved refuge of recreation and contemplation of nature.
Nowadays, the botanical gardens can no more be considered just scientific collections of plants. They are being reshaped, becoming part of the modern urban life of the cities in Romania and all over the world. The content of this material does not necessarily represent the official position of the European Union.